Bill Gatti checking in. Hey, hey, hey. I got a visitor coming from the southern part of Hancock County. I live about, uh, I don't know, 45 minutes from here or so. Known him for a long, long time. He uh, wants to cook up some Texas hash. Said, I've never had any. And uh, so he's bringing his stuff and we're going to cook it up. I hope you enjoy it. Check it out. Hey, and this is a food kind of hash. If you were thinking other kind of hash, uh, you're probably looking at the wrong video. All right, check it out. We gotta get our priorities straight. Yes. All right, here we go. A generous pour of amber fluid. <laughs> Wow, is that good? We're gonna have us some Texas hash, Mr. My Tail style. Mr. My Tail, right? Facebook. Yeah. yeah. He finally showed up. We're gonna show you some ingredients. Got the fire going. We had a inch and three quarters inch of rain this morning. Everything's wet. But, uh, we're making do. We're gonna use a Dutch oven. We're gonna use the uh, camp made utensil. I'll show it to you how that works, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Wow, that's good. <laughs> and a can, no less, huh? <laughs> Does that make you feel better? There we go. Mr. Mitel prefers that Coca-Cola can. You know what I prefer. Yeah, right there it is. <laughs> All right. So, the ingredients that are going to go into this. One bell pepper. What is that? Three you, large onions. Four large onions. Huh? Uh, three large onions. Three large onions. Diced tomatoes. Or any kind. Any kind of tomato? Yeah, just a can of. 15 you, if we, if of it was tomatoes. tomato season, we could dice our own fresh tomatoes and put yeah, it. Yeah, as long as we had left enough moisture for the yeah. for the rice. And then it's rice. Half and a cup of half uncooked a cup. rice. And uh, chili, chili powder. powder. Plus the ground beef. And then a one pound of ground beef. Yes. All right. Well, hey, let's get to cooking. <laughs> Camp made. There'll be a link below. Check it out. This opens up like this. And this will remove my lid. Excellent. I'll show you how it works later. Let's add our green peppers. Onions, onions. Oh yeah, that smells good already. I ain't even cooking yet. It it doesn't hurt to add more oh. <laughs> than it calls for. Oh yeah, look at the moisture in there now. Oh yeah, now we're, we're getting cooked down, tender. So, two teaspoons of salt. That's what it says. So let's see if we can just... Oh yeah. Take it. How much is that? Mm, I forgot. We'll just pour some in. <laughs> this is black, black pepper? Black pepper. Black pepper. Well, we need a couple of tablespoons of chili powder. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's kind of keeping the taste, too. A can of tomatoes. And this come from Coca Cola? Coca Cola. Huh. Boy, I'll tell you what. You may have oh, to change. That smell? We have to switch over. I don't know about that. I think Anheuser Busch is just going to have to come up with some of their own recipes. <laughs> Man, that smells good. And then our half a cup of a half cup a rice. cup of rice, huh? The tomatoes tend to serve to And we just let this simmer now. Yes, yeah, about 20 minutes or so. About 20 minutes. Let that rice let let that rice uh, soak up the juice. 
Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. That smells good. And very simple. I yes, mean, that it is. is very simple. I hope it tastes as good as it smells. Man. The recipe actually calls for it to be put in a casserole dish and baked for an hour after uh, after we cook it like this. So what kind of cowboy is going to have an oven? Well, that's, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. So if, you're not, is, if you want to eat like a cowboy and you just have a regular stove, you could cook this in well, your house. Well, this is Texas hash. You're yeah. confusing it with that other cowboy, uh, <laughs> well, well, cowboy crap. Or cowboy, <laughs> what was it? Not cowboy crap. Cowboy uh, <laughs> slop. Cowboy slop. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what somebody called it. Yeah, yeah but anyway, it's, uh, yeah, it, you can't wait so long Coca -Cola enough. So Coca-Cola actually calls it Texas hash, yeah. but says you can make this in your regular kitchen. Yes. You don't you don't have to cook this over a campfire. Oh, it didn't say anything about cooking over a campfire, <laughs> but that's what we're doing, and it's just as good. Matter of fact, you you don't want to wait another hour to eat it once you get this cooked down. It's ready to go. It's ready to go. Huh? Yes, yeah, right. tastes good. <laughs> All right. Didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Oh no, I'm sure you didn't. <laughs> uh, you sure you don't want one of these ice cold bottles of bush beer? I. Uh, you want to only hold out on that Coca-Cola you know, stuff? You know what? I'll just have one while I wait for it to cook right. before I have my delicious Coca-Cola. All right. Well, you can't hardly beat it. Cold. Yeah. You know, it's always important to get our priorities straight. You know? Are these twists? Yes, yeah, they're twists. Oh, they are? Yeah, just to twist that oh, baby. They are. You want me to twist it for you? No, oh, I... I <laughs> I just wasn't sure. Yeah. I didn't want to perforate my thumb and your teeth. <laughs> uh, cheers. Well, that's beer. Yeah, it tastes good, don't it? <laughs> smooth. Yeah, it is pretty good. Smooth and it clear is as good. mountain it's air. Smooth. Mountain air, that's what that is. Oh, it is mountain air. Yeah, <laughs> clear and bright as mountain air. Okay. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, you can almost smell that right there. Wow. <laughs> What has it been, about 15 minutes or so? Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's, it's got a real nice texture, and it's cooking down really nice. Well, we told your dad it'd be done in about 20 more minutes. So. Well, from under there, is that old smoke from that one oh, side? Smoke. I like your steam in there. Smoke and steam, yeah. Looking good. Finally got your priorities straight. <laughs> I've led another person astray, I'm afraid. <laughs> I hope Anheuser-Busch is proud. <laughs> yeah. See if they send you a letter. Yeah, yeah. What did we tell him? Uh, we said 45 minutes, and, and we got five minutes to go. So it's been 40 oh, minutes. 40 minutes? Yeah. Oh, look at that. It is done. Damn. I wish you could smell that. Wow, that is good. I'm just going to pull you out a scoop here, put it on your plate. Oh, yeah. Just to give me a, a little taste test there. Good. Price is still a little bit firm. A little bit longer? Yeah, it can't hurt. And it is hot. Well, yeah, it's a hot fire. What do you think, Mr. Mike Tell? Is it, is it close? Yeah, it is. About another five or ten minutes? Yeah, let's let her go a little bit more, just soften the rice up a tad more. All right, I think it's done. D-U-N done. Well, it sure smells good. Looks tender. I only got extra moisture hurting. That'd be fine for now. Sure? Yeah. Degrees. You got the outfield town penny and kiss right now. Dr. Hook. Cover the Rolling Stone on the air. Yeah. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A generous pour. <laughs> yep. Texas hash. Coca Cola style, I guess. That's right. Huh? Coca-Cola style. Alright. Nice texture. Here we go. 
Mm. It's hot. It's hot, but boy. Wow. Very good. Very good. It could actually have a little more heat. It could you could you could throw some jalapeno peppers or some other kind of pepper in there with that. I always put or maybe of... Rotel. Oh, the sure. Rotel uh, pet tomatoes would be good. I it's bulky. Yeah, it tastes that that's mm -hmm. pretty good too. I, I, I put mm. quite a bit of chili powder and chili and mine and, and wow. black pepper both. But. You know, it's that's not bad. It's mild, it's hot. Temperature hot, but uh, uh, flavor flavor wise mild. Mm hmm Wow. Man. <laughs> that's good. That's what uh, Captain Kangaroo used, used to show us kids how to make stone soup. <laughs> Who? Yeah, Captain yeah. Kangaroo. Don't you remember stone soup? They had TV <laughs> back then? <laughs> you yeah, probably, listened, black to, and white you probably listened to him on the radio, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it was black and white. <laughs> Captain Kangaroo. Captain Kangaroo, the big pockets. Mm -hmm. And and uh, Mr. Green Jeans. Mr. Green Jeans, yeah. Does it meet your approval there, Mr. Mitel? Yes, it does. As, as good as uh, any uh, batch you've ever made, uh, you know, compared to being made inside the house versus uh, over the campfire? You know? I don't know whether I'd say that or not, uh -huh. but I usually add quite a, quite a bit of extra spice to mine, too. Uh, liquid smoke? Or? No, 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 just, just extra pepper and uh -huh. chili powder. Thank you, Mr. Mike Tail. I think we're gonna we're gonna add on to this recipe. I think okay. I think there's things we can do to this. You could throw about anything in there you wanted to, yeah. you know. And uh, but it's simple, easy to make. Stone soup. Oh. I'd like to say thank you to the Camp Made people for making such a fine utensil. If you want one of these, check out the link below, CampMade.com. Tell them Bill Gaddy sent you. I want to thank Mr. Mitel for bringing all the uh, ingredients. The link to his Facebook page will be below. He's got a YouTube channel, however, he doesn't make any videos. Bill Gowdy out. It's just that simple. Ready to go for the next time. Bill Gaddy out.